Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is x plus 1 bracket times x plus 2 bracket times x plus 3 bracket times x plus 4 bracket is equal to 120. To find the values of x from this math problem such that x is element of a real number. Now solution, we will start by taking this x plus 1 times this x plus 4. So it will be x plus 1 bracket times x plus 4 bracket. Then we take x plus 2 times x plus 3. So it will be bracket x plus 2 bracket times x plus 3 bracket is equal to this 120. Now from here we we'll take this times this. So x times x here it will be x square plus x times 4, it is 4x, plus 1 times x is x, plus 1 times 4 is 4, bracket, then times bracket, x times x, it is x square, plus x times 3 is 3x, plus 2 times x is 2x, plus 2 times 3 is 6, bracket is equal to this 120. Then in the next step, it will be here, x square, then plus 4x plus x, it is 5x, plus this 4, bracket, bracket, this x square, plus 3x plus 2x, it is 5x, plus this 6, bracket, is equal to 120. Then from here, x square plus 5x, x square plus 5x, here we have 4, here 6, so between 4 and 6 it is 5, so we'll make here 5 in common, then our equation, it will be x square plus 5x, then plus 4, 4 is same as 5, we make 5 in common, so 4 is same as 5 minus 1, bracket, bracket, x square plus 5x plus 6, 6 is same as 5 plus 1, bracket is equal to 120. Now, from this equation here, you can see this x square plus 5x plus 5. x square plus 5x plus 5 is common. So, we'll let, let's say u, y, y is equal to this here, which is x square plus 5x plus 5. So our question will be y minus 1. So here y minus 1 bracket times y plus 1. So here y plus 1 bracket is equal to 120. Then from here y minus 1 times y plus 1. This is in the form of a perfect square. So it will be y square minus 1 square which is 1 is equal to 120. And 20. Then here to be y square is equal to negative 1. Take this side to be 120 plus 1, it will be 121. Then from here, we'll apply square root in both sides. So this square root to cancel square, then it will be y is equal to square root of 121, it is plus or minus 11. So from here, we have two solutions of y. Whereas first value of y, first solution, it is positive 11, and the second solution of y is negative 11. Then we'll recall, before we let y, here y, it is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 5. So from y, here y, it is x squared plus 5x plus 5 is equal to this 11. And here y, y it is x square plus 5x plus 5 is equal to this negative 11. Now to solve from this solution, we'll take 11 to this side. So it will be x square plus 5x plus 5. 11 we'll take to this side to be minus 11 is equal to 0. So it will be x square plus 5x plus 5 minus 11, it is minus 6, is equal to 0. Then from this solution here, 
this quadratic equation. Coefficient of x square it is 1, so a is equal to 1. And coefficient of x is 5, then b is equal to 5. And the constant is negative 6, so c is equal to negative 6. Then from from here, we'll check this quadratic equation first if it will give a real solution because the value of x, it must be a real number. So from determinant formula, which is determinant is equal to b square minus 4ac, then it will be determinant is equal to b square to b5 square, which is 25, minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 6. So it will be determinant is equal to 25, Minus 4 times 1 times minus 6 is positive 24. Then it will be determinant is equal to 25 plus 24, it is 49. Now this 49 is greater than 0. So if it is greater than 0, then the value of it will give a real solution. Now let's find the value of x from the quadratic equation with determinant. So from quadratic equation to find the value of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of determinant over 2a. So from here, it will be x, x is equal to negative b. b, it is this 5 here. So 5 plus or minus determinant, square root of determinant, which is this 49. Then over... 2 times a, so 2, a it is 1, so 2 times 1, it is 2, so it will be over 2. Then from here, it will be x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 49, it is 7, over 2. Now because of plus or minus, we have two values of x. So the first value of x is equal to negative 5, when it is positive, it will be plus 7 over 2. And the second value of x is equal to negative 5, when it is negative to be minus 7 over 2. So it will be x1 is equal to negative 5 plus 7, the same as 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 divided by 2, it is 1. So this is the first value of x. And the second value of x is equal to negative 5, negative 7 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So this is the second value of x. Whereas these are real solutions. Now let's solve from the second solution into this second solution here. We'll take negative 11 to the left side. So it will be x square plus 5x plus 5. Negative 11 take to this side to be plus 11 is equal to 0. So it will be x square plus 5x, 5 plus 11 here to be plus 16 is equal to 0. Now let's check this quadratic equation if it will give a real solution. So from this our determinant formula here, it will be coefficients first. Coefficient of x square a is equal to 1 and b is equal to coefficient of x is 5 and c is equal to constant which is 16 so it will be determinant is equal to b square b square will be 5 square which is 25 minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 16 so it will be determinant is equal to 25 minus 4 times 16 to be minus 4 times 6 is 24 goes to 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So it will be determinant is equal to this minus this to be negative. Here to, it will borrow 1 to be 14. 14 minus 5, it is 9. Here it will be 6. We borrowed 1, it will be 5. 5 minus 2, it is 3. Now negative 49, this is less than 0. So if it is less than 0, determinant, so no real solution. So our only solutions are this x is equal to 1 and negative 6. Now let's check this our solution. 
these two are solutions from our problem which is x plus 1 bracket times x plus 2 bracket times x plus 3 bracket times x plus 4 bracket is equal to 120 so it will be here we substitute x is equal to this one so it will be 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 4 is equal to 120 so this plus this here will be 2 then times this tem plus this is 3 times this plus this is 4 times this plus this is 5 is it equal to 120 now 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 times 5 is 20 is it equal to 120 6 times 20 is 120 is equal to 120 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is equal to 1 now let's check for the other value of x which is this negative 6 so from x is equal to negative 6 we'll substitute negative 6 into here 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 and here so it will be negative 6 plus 1 so here negative 6 plus 1 bracket times negative 6 plus 2 so negative 6 plus 2 bracket negative 6 plus 3 so here bracket negative 6 plus 3 bracket negative 6 plus 4 so here negative 6 plus 4 bracket is it equal to this 120 so negative 6 plus 1 it is negative 5 times negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 times negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3 times negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 is it equal to this 120 now negative 5 times 4 it is positive 20 times negative 3 times negative 2 it is positive 6 is it, is it equal to 120 now 20 times 6 it is 120 is equal to 120 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x also is equal to negative 6 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye